In spite of my stern warnings, Dave is heading out in search of smallmouth in his belly boat. Now I think comparing this whole thing to Gilligan's Island is bad luck, so I won't do that. Paddle safe, Dave. At some point during this show, me and Wilson, my faithful belly boat, this is our third show, we may have to part ways. In a land like no other, on a lake like you've never seen, well, maybe you've seen lakes like this, but there is an angler so great, he once set the hook so hard he turned a small mouth into a large mouth. He can unscramble an egg. He made his first cast at the age of three and it landed yesterday. We join him to chronicle one day on one lake. This is Facts of Fishing, the show. Here we go. Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha, conquer water. Phoenix Bass Boats, experience the Phoenix difference. Live Target, lifelike lures. Action car and truck accessories, the right customer experience. And Jackal, eat, sleep, Jackal. I mean, I've been fishing a bass boat the last couple of days, and it's been absolutely spectacular. I mean, we absolutely blistered them. But this honestly is one of my own little personal, you know, this is, this is my hobby. I got two flippers. One of them's broken. Zip tied on. Call me Nemo. I don't care. I'm going belly boat. Losing bumper stickers at an alarming rate. I tried to decorate this, make it special for the show. The bumper stickers are broken. Fish. Oh, I dropped it. So here is the deal, my friends. We've done it before, and I was a quest to do it again. We just finished a spectacular shoot here at La Reserve Beauchene. It's a yearly tradition. We're done. It's over. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, sadly. But I could not leave before going belly boating again. We literally have three hours to make a show, and we are going to do it. Bumper stickers are not. This is the magic of facts of fishing. You know when you watch it and you're like, it's so beautiful, it seems so natural. It's not, it's totally unnatural. It's the exact opposite of natural. It's anti-natural. It's anti-natural jubil. It's a word. Look it up at facts of fishing Wikipedia. One. Billy Boat Bonanza has begun. It's three hours. It's a three hour tour. You saw the show. They sunk. But we will not sink on this Belly Boat Bonanza. Literally, the crew's mad at me. They are. They're mad at me right now. I mean, it's been a long week. We shot some phenomenal shows. But here's the deal. They thought they were done. But this is like the mob. They thought they were out, but I brought them back in for three final hours here at Bullshane Wilderness Lodge. And we are going on a three hour tour that you are not gonna believe. It is the Belly Boat Bonanza. And you, my friends, are part of my gang. Let's ride. They wanna go home, I get it, so do I. But I want to catch bass like that. I want to. Oh, this is the most awesome way to end an incredible fishing trip. 
I mean, we came up here to shoot a couple of shows, and we did. And we never miss a trip here because it is one of the most spectacular places on earth. Well, say Wilderness Lodge, and there's a little sneaky dinky. Oh, oh, I'm losing bumper stickers. Hold on. It's hard to find a good waterproof bumper sticker nowadays. Easy. Look at that little chunk. I did a little sneaky. I packed the belly boat. And we are doing the belly boat bonanza. And it has begun. My six shooter is loaded and I am ready to fire. This segment is brought to you by ARE Truck Caps. ARE, outfit for life. If you're lucky enough to get out in one of these aquatic inner tubes, you are gonna quickly learn. It totally changes your perspective. I mean, when I say it's one-on-one -on -one battle with fish, it really truly feels like that. I mean, your eye level with the surface of the water, you don't have that advantage of the ability to see. I mean, a lot of times you'll see a fish cruising or you see the structure ahead of you. This becomes a lot more natural. And one of the first things that you're gonna wanna do is use the shoreline to your advantage. And what I mean by that is, for some strange reason, we always think of a shoreline and we'll look at it and we'll think, it hits the water and it changes. But that nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, when this water floods, the shore continues. So what you want to do is spend a little bit of time looking at that shoreline and looking what it looking what it does as it meets the water. Is it a steep drop off? Is it a gradual drop off? Do you have wood there? Do you have rocks, pebbles? Whatever you see on that shoreline most likely continues out on the lake and you will quickly put a pattern together when you start to realize where you caught those fish. And as you duplicate that, you'll definitely catch more fish. It just totally changes the game. I mean, for the last two days, I've been hammering fish using high-end electronics, every advantage I can. And today, it's just me and old small job. Mono e mono. Get this. Oh, I knew I had to get closer. It's so hard to judge the depth. You know, I don't, I don't have a graph on, on the belly boat, but I'm just looking at the shoreline and you can see that it drops off very quickly. I mean, that shoreline is not gradual here. So that's telling me I'm too far away from the bank. I mean. When I first walked in the water, it seemed a lot more gradual. Well, here, it's the exact opposite. It's a very, very steep bank. So tell me, I need easy, easy sunshine. I'm trying to make a television program. I got it, do your, do your thing, cool. You see that's a steep, steep drop off, so that tells you that you need to be that much closer to the bank. And I need to boat this fish. Oh, and not put a hole in my belly boat. That's a deal right there. Look at this bad boy. A 2.8 inch rhythm wave. I mean, you know the rhythm wave, Plano catches them. This is a brand new one. And this is the one I'm probably most excited about just because it's that magical size. I mean, these micro swim baits like this are a huge, huge rage. And they really excel in the spring of the year. Come back, dude, please come back, fish. Come on, I gotta catch this fish. Where are you at? Dude, the fish literally was right there. Like, that was one of the coolest things ever. There we go, oh, big fish, big fish. <laughs> Look at this dude, oh my God. <laughs> How awesome is that? 
<laughs> that's not a postcard from the Belly Boating Association. I don't know what is. Oh, look at the size of this freak panda. Come here, dude. Mouth full of rhythm wave. But that dude right there smoked it. Oh, look at that dude right there. That's an absolute chunk. Seeing him when you are one-on-one -on -one with them right at water level, it doesn't get any better than that. Look at him just saunter away. See you, my friend. Swimming past my little baby broken flipper. One of the things you're going to learn about belly boating is positioning becomes a lot more difficult. Even with a tiny little bit of wind like we have here today, I mean, it's going to push you around. So what you want to do is almost work your way backwards, kind of like the walleye back trolling deal, just so you can keep yourself in position when you're working that bait. I want to fish that point, where generally I'd be working that way, and I'm working backwards just to stay in control of where I work that bait. And I'm rapidly losing air. Nobody cares. The crew's mad at me anyways. I mean, they wanted to have a campfire tonight. Roll some weenies, s'mores, I don't know. I, I'm starting to wonder if the crew actually put a hole in the boat. I mean, maybe the crew sabotaged Wilson. It's not easy doing my job becomes a lot more difficult when my vessels begin to sink. I, I'm losing it. That's my favorite one. Special ordered these the night before the shoot. They turned out beautiful, I mean, I must say. And now they're all gone. I wanted to make this special for the crew. I wanted to make this special for the viewers. You know, keep calm and belly boat on. My belly boat is sinking. The bumper stickers are floating away. But the bass are still munching. So I guess I'll live. Relentless bugs, angry bass. Is he? Come here, dude. Oh, good job. Look at that dude right there. I mean, it is so, so fun. You feel that little tail right there vibrating, that little thump, thump, thump. And this dude goes, boom, munch, munch time. Let him get back to the water and grow, because we are running out of time. Fishing out of a belly boat like this, fishing out of a stand-up paddle board, different things like that, it just, oh, you get hung up every once in a while. It just, it, it just, it's kind of what fishing's all about. I mean, when I started fishing, it was never to host a TV show, it was never to host Bassmaster events. It was for one thing, it was just the love of feeling that toot at the end of the line. And every one of you can understand that. I mean, fishing just makes you feel alive. And to be honest, I'm not whining. I'm just saying I love all these different kinds of fishing experiences. And you don't often get an opportunity to get out on a little tiny body of water like this and do one-on-one -on -one combat with fish. I mean, you hook into a fish and they actually move you. And if you ask me, that moves me. It is awesome. I'm definitely losing air. It is without a doubt at some point during this show, me and Wilson, my faithful belly boat, this is our third show, we may have to part ways. Feels like we are definitely 
Losing air. Come on, Wilson, stick with me. It's our third opportunity to put you on TV. I busted the budget on bumper stickers. They lasted 3.2 minutes, and they may turn into patches here in a minute. There he is, smoked it. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> Ooh, easy. You are a psycho bass. Wow. That right there, my friends, is a little move I like to call the LDR. Some would think I lost that fish, but clearly if you speak to any saltwater angler, I touched the leader and that was an LDR, a long distance release. Oh, big one. Oh, big one. He's pulling me. We're going for a ride. Let me. Oh, yeah. Look at this dude right here. You stay out of my legs. I'm big wallowing sea beast right there. Mm. Let me get my paws on you. Mm, look at that chunk right there. Absolute freak panda. Whew. What an awesome, awesome looking fish. Look at that dude right there. See ya. He kind of took control of the release himself. And I'll be honest, he kind of took control of the fight himself. <laughs> Pulled me around, but that's one of the major reasons that I love getting in my belly boat. The replay of the day is brought to you by Action Car and Truck Accessories. Whether it's your work truck, fishing truck, or just your daily ride, Action has got you covered. Action, 36 stores across Canada. See them at actioncarandtruck.com. Big fish, oh, look at this dude. Oh. This segment is brought to you by Hook Performance Fishing. There he is, smoked it. I'm running at me. <laughs> Come here. Smoking that little 2.8 inch rhythm wave. It is absolutely insane. You know, that subtle, subtle thump under the water is what makes these baits so, so lethal. And the ease of fishability is what makes them so popular. Mm -hmm. I was like, num num time. That's a little deal right there. I mean, that little subtle bait really, you know, the coolest thing I love about it, I can cover water, but I can do it without, you know, it's not an intimidating bait. It's just, you know, it's just, you think of how fish react to baits and you watch how they eat a bait. A lot of times it's just that right bait that runs by them. It's something they're used to seeing. They might not even be in a mood to eat, but fish don't think, they just react. And a little bait like that just rolls on by and they feel that vibration in their lateral line and they munch it. Got it. Made it. <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh man. What a fish. What a fish and what a way to spend your final day at a small mouth, small jaw, superstar location like Bullshane with fish like this. Man, we are running out of time. See ya. Small baits in the springtime, it just goes hand in hand and it really makes sense. You know, think about it. 
you know, in the fall of the year, you hear everyone talk about throwing big baits and, and it makes a lot of sense then because the bait fish are at their biggest. So in the spring of the year, you want to use the smallest bait possible. Giving a fish, you know, something that it's used to seeing, it just makes it a lot more sense. I mean, fly fishermen have the old term, match the hatch. And you would better believe it. When it comes to spring fishing, downsize, and you will upsize your results in a big, big way. There he is. Smoked it! <laughs> Look at this freak! Easy. Oh man, how awesome is that? You could just let them take their way. You never want to bring a green fish into a belly boat. Oh man, that is a nice fish. They are loaded in here and smoking that little rhythm wave. <sighs> what a way to spend the last day of your trip. I mean, spring vacation is over. Not quite yet though. Go. Dave fished for three hours, made 216 casts, and caught 18 bass. That's the score. Now time for the facts. Dave caught all his fish on the new 2.8 inch Jackal Rhythm Wave with a super sharp 8 ounce Trocar swim bait hook. To add extra casting distance, Dave fished 8 pound braided line with a 6 pound fluorocarbon leader, all rigged up on a 6 foot 6 inch medium heavy spinning rod. And that's the facts.